Okay, just no. check it. Yes. Just, what uh, is the most creative thing the elf has done in your house, Alex? He zip lined. Oh, oh, that's cool. Nice. Nice. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're an adventurous Are these, uh, are these videos to be seen on no, the Instagram she, what page, What are you talking Alex? about? Your wife does it all. Not a lot of us will be seeing it. Let's take a look at the forecast for Denver. You can see Saturday we're in the upper 40s. You've got some showers around that is a bit above average. Should be uh, closer to, say, like the mid-30s this time of year. Now, Saturday night is going to be the definition of blustery. So Saturday night, if maybe you have some pre-Christmas parties or something like that, you might want to rethink it. It is going to be windy. You're going to have rain and snow coming down Sunday, some of that snow uh, showers falling in the morning, so do keep that in mind. Here's what we're watching. Two pieces of energy going to come on shore uh, around the west coast and then eventually emerge or merge together over around the Four Corners region. Now the circulation around that, that counterclockwise circulation, in front of it, it pulls up that moisture. That's what we're seeing here. Plenty of moisture ahead of this system. And in those areas, we're going to get rain and maybe some storms. But where we get that moisture to mix with the cold air, as we do have this abundant dive of cold air south, well, that's going to bring us maybe some of that wintry weather. And you can see where Saturday might not be the best day to be traveling across that region, across the Rockies, across portions of the plains. With this wind coming through, with this wintry weather coming coming through as well. And as we know, it's not always where you're flying from. Maybe it's where you're flying to or maybe where your plane is coming from. So maybe if your plane is coming from Denver, that could cause you some issues. You can see our system here as we move through our Sunday into our Monday. Quickly though, the European model much more bullish with some of these snowfall totals.